doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise. <laughs> Inspector Gadget may return after these messages. Maybe I should go grab some cereal. Oh, I love that orange lemon cherry yeah. almond berry purple. A delicious part of this complete breakfast. I am never running out again. Now don't forget that. Now the magic of Aladdin is yours with one of four magic Aladdin color changing spoons. One free at Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Morning, kids. It's a package. They don't put prizes in cereal boxes anymore? Well, now I want a cereal prize. Wait a second. I have an idea. I'm Clyde. We're the marshmallows. You know, I remember reading on Reddit that if you have a synthesizer and a flux capacitor, you can use it as a time machine if you hit the proper note. There we go. Wow! Look at all the awesome cereal in the past. Where I am right now in the past. Ah, oh, here's a good one. Fruit Loops. Can't go wrong with Fruit Loops. Okay, time to get back to the present. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Remember when cereal had prizes inside? Or when a cereal commercial would come on and tell you about some new exciting prize? Most of us remember Wacky Wall Walkers. And it was a great prize. Even if it got dirty, you just rinsed it off in the sink and went back at it. You'd have wacky wall walker races, and if you got the glow in the dark wacky wall walker, huge score. But what about all the other prizes? There were the good, the bad, and the why did you buy the cereal with the book in it, mom? Realistically, you didn't even need a prize to eat the cereal. Most kids' cereal was like crack. It's like a giant box of crack. The prize was like a sweet bonus. If Fruity Pebbles came with a free color-changing dinosaur that month, you bet your ass I was begging mom for Fruity Pebbles. Tony, your cereal may be great, but it doesn't have color-changing dinosaurs. Side note, remember there was sort of a technique of getting the, the prize out of a full box of cereal? Your mom was obviously not a big fan of you jamming your dirty hand in the cereal, but if you did it the right way, you kind of shook it so all the cereal would kind of move to one side. It wasn't always at the bottom. A lot of times that was the thing. You thought it was going to be at the bottom, but it wasn't at the bottom. It was on the side. So you could move all the cereal out of the way, and if you kind of dug your hand into the side of the box like that, you could get your hand in there. Go to the slide. The toy out. And you get to play with it while you devour your cereal. <laughs> Sometimes it was a good toy, like a glow-in-the-dark pen, color-changing spoon, a watch, maybe a toy with your favorite cartoon, maybe even something you could put on your bike and show off to your friends. Like a license plate, or a super sugar crisp bike reflector. You would attach them to your spokes. There were other bike reflectors, but we all know Sugar Bear was the best. Sorry again, Tony. Most times the toy was pretty great. Something you could fling around or just play with while you were eating your cereal. But it's fair to say that sometimes the toy sucked. Like this thing. What even is that? Or this. What the? Oh, wait a second. Is that that water bobber thing, right? You stick it in a bottle or something and you squeeze it and the bobber pops up and down? Yeah, those are actually pretty cool. Alright, Tony, you get some points back for that. But the super sub wasn't. I was so excited about the submarine toy. Then you'd build it, fill your sink or bathtub, and then you'd just watch it float on top of the water. I could never get it to work. Or sometimes you'd get some toy that didn't even really make any sense. Or the mini frisbees. They never flew. There's clearly not enough surface area on the... Forget it. Now, I don't really count the mail-in prizes. Even though those prizes were always so much better than the one that would be in the box, waiting three months to get the prize was a little bit rough. Though, to be fair, I did one time do a mail-in. It was a pretty sweet Han Solo action figure, dressed up like a stormtrooper. It's an exclusive Kenner action figure, Han Solo disguised as a stormtrooper, free with two proofs from Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal. <laughs> yeah, right? That's cool. That's pretty cool. That's worth it. That's worth mailing in. Come on. 
half of it was because it was so cool. The other half was sort of an experiment to see if it actually worked. I never did it before. I kind of always felt like you'd mail it in and you would never get it. Who are you going to argue to? The serial police? It is cool, but it's not as cool as getting a prize in the box. There were some really great prizes in boxes back then. Like this one. The mini Magic 8 Ball. Oh my god, that thing was so cool. Oh yeah, those weird coin holders. I remember those. Like secret decoders. Remember when Halloween would come around and get those really sweet cereal prizes? Totem poles. I mean, seriously, who didn't want their own Cookie Crisp action figures? Limited edition monster wrestlers. Remember those toys where you would blow up a balloon and stick it on it and the air pressure would get it to move? 3D glasses. Starbot. And let's not forget all the toys that were based around some of your favorite cartoons at the time. And uh, box masks or anything you had to cut out of the back doesn't count as a prize either. As far as I'm concerned, box masks are not prizes. If you got to cut the back out of the box to make yourself a prize, it's not on the list. I want a plastic bag sealed toy covered in fruity pebble dust. That's what I want. Teddy Graham's breakfast mask? What kind of nightmare fuel is this? It's funny to think back to how exciting it was to find a cereal with a prize in it. And when I did research online, I realized that they no longer do prizes in the cereal anymore. They claim it's because kids nowadays don't want cheap toys in their cereal. I don't know, I disagree with that. I say bring the toys back, bring them all back. So let me know what your go-to cereal was as a kid or one of your favorite cereal prizes. Thanks for backpedaling with me. I'm Tig. And you are. Get you next time, Gadget. Next time. <laughs>